What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys, and no snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Sunday. So today, today we're out here in the wonderful plains of Whiterun, taking a look at Quinn Tower Manor. Now, Quinn Tower Manor is a Hearthfire-inspired home that is basically Hearthfire 2.0, kind of. So it takes the regular home that you would normally build with Hearthfire, and it adds a whole bunch of bells and whistles into it. And uh, I gotta say, as far as Vanilla with Sprinkles goes, this is pretty much up there with almost beneath vanilla with sprinkles with a cherry on top, meaning more assets and stuff inside of it. But I really, really like the way that this looks. Now, I've only ever seen the beginning, I've only ever seen the front part of the house where the, um, where this part is at. Normally, the, the, the first thing that you build with a, uh, like a Lakeview Manor or something like that. But the exterior of the home, I love it because it's not only just the Hearthfire home, but it's got the five towers. And I love the way that the mod author has just kind of made it the, the tower lover's dream because I, for one, never used the towers in the Hearthfire homes. I always used, like, the armory, and I always used the storage room and stuff like that. I always used the uh, the trophy room and everything like that. It was more so I liked the, the big warehouse-looking houses rather than the towers, but the towers really add something to it. But where exactly are we located? Well, Quinn Tower Manor is located right outside everyone's favorite hold, Whiterun, and we have White Watch Tower, uh, Quinn Tower Manor, as well as Shimmer Sist... Shimmer? Sist, Shimmer Mist Cave, can't say that freaking ten times fast, Grey Winter, Winter Watch, and the Ritual Stone. So the Quinn Tower Manor right here, we can actually go ahead and go inside because the exterior only boasts a little horse named Manor Horse. Hello there, little buddy. Your name forever shall be Charles. Is that okay with you? One blink for yes, two blinks for no. All right, you'll, you'll eat some hay. I'll get back to you. But okay, let's go ahead and head on inside because from what I saw in the entrance, it's a pretty special looking home. Now, I know what you might be thinking. A pretty special home? You gotta be kidding me. It's only a Hearthfire home. Well, the best thing about homes and mods like this is the fact that the mod author had an idea for a home that they used all of the vanilla assets for and placed it in a place of Skyrim where there was not possible, where there was not a home possible um, for there, which is pretty cool. And I like that a lot. It takes a lot, you know, it takes, you know, it takes something to think about where to place these things. And I actually already see something that I missed before on my initial walkthrough of this little area right here. Are those weapon racks around the crenellation? I think those are weapon racks. They are weapon racks. Do those actually work? Wait a second. I'm gonna be so astounded if this actually works. Go up there, buddy. Holy dick, it actually works. I have never seen that before in a house before. I've only ever seen weapon racks, er, weapon plaques, and, uh, and shield racks. I've never seen weapon racks used in this way. That is such a unique way of doing that. Brownie points, dude, brownie points. But okay, in typical Riantium fashion, let's break this shit down, shall we? So, right here at the beginning, there are plenty of weapon racks for you to display stuff, especially with the ones around the ceiling. Very nice touch, very nice touch. So we've also got ourselves some display cases. Now, I have seen some complaints down in the comment section of this of this mod that maybe some of the cases might be blue. Uh, if you do have the blue cases, uh, Color Patch Remover is the mod that you're going to want to load, and you'll probably want to put that as low in your load order as possible. Now, another thing that I really enjoy about this home is the use of the windows from Solitude. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a while since I've seen Lakeview Manor, but these windows were not in Lakeview Manor. They were just the regular square windows. They might not even have had windows like this. Pretty sure the mod author has brought over some of the windows from Solitude and maybe other church-like, cathedral-like buildings and placed them in this home so that you get these natural god rays coming through the home, and it really adds a whole hell of a lot to the ambient lighting. We've got ourselves a nice big chandelier with these really high uh, vaulted ceilings. And then as we go ahead and walk through here, we come into the main grand hall that would normally just be the gigantic dinner table. But I gotta say, the mod author nailed the lighting. You guys know how much of a sucker I am for lighting, but god damn, they did a great job with this. The way the house flows together and the lighting just kind of all comes together. You got the two, you know, staircases on the right and left side that everyone's used to and the nice big overhang. But what you don't have, which was always something weird that I found, um, was that gigantic fireplace that stuck up through the entire freaking house and it really took up a whole lot of room. So I really like the way that they've adapted the Hearthfire home to make it their own. 
But over here, we've got ourselves our nice big enchanting table with a couple things right here with enchanting supplies. And holy cheat. <laughs> Looks like it comes stocked with a whole bunch of stuff. Very cool. So that does indeed come with a whole bunch of stuff, and I imagine the same can be said for the alchemy stuff over here with our alchemy lab. Am I correct? Yes, indeed, I am correct. So if you've ever wanted a whole bunch of stuff, as well as some alchemical recipes, would you look at that? You can grab some of that stuff. And what I love about this home is it's right in Whiterun. Everyone's starting in Whiterun if you do if you do the uh, vanilla playthrough, and even if you don't, you'll probably end up in Whiterun eventually, which is very, very nice. Now, I do see something right here, which is always nice to have in every modded home that you see, a Staff Enchanter. And the fact that it, it comes stock inside of here, very nice to see. We've also got ourselves unenchanted staves. Bet this is full. Yep. A couple more weapon racks right there. Very nice display area right here. Very, very cool way of doing that. Now, we're going to do the top floor first, and then we'll, we'll move through to the bottom floor, because I, I imagine this is a pretty damn big house. So the Spell Tomes, looks like we have every single Spell Tome in Skyrim. Holy good god, yeah, I'd say that's pretty much all of them. And then we got ourselves the bookcases. I know a lot of people, they don't like these bookcases because you can't display them on the racks, but I for one like this one better because it gives it more of a classy, more of a, a high-end, rich, rich feel to it rather than just having all these loose books on the, uh, on, the book, on the bookshelves. Lots and lots of books for the bookworms of Skyrim because I know I got quite a few watching and it even comes with two, not one, but two little reading nooks for you to grab a bottle of beer, maybe grab a glass of wine, a little bit of a, you know, a little pastry or something and just plop down and read a good book. Now, what do we got right here? Looks like a miniature armory almost. Look at this. There's a large emphasis on storing a lot of weapons and armor and everything like that. A couple little lighting glitches, it looks like. Could be a confliction with my um, an enhanced light and effects mods. But let's see. Got a couple small shield racks right there. I love it when mod authors do this because the red behind the regular shields, not the most flattering thing. But when you have a tiny one like that and the shield takes up the entirety of like this pillar, very, very cool thing to see. Very, very nice. I like that. Now, there were two other doors uh, on this level, or actually four other doors. Jesus, crime money, the plot thickens. But let's see, I imagine uh, this is another little armory. Okay, lots of emphasis on that. Wow, lots of emphasis on storing things. That's kind of crazy. I didn't expect it to have this much storage for... Wow, all of these are freaking armor mannequins and weapon racks. Now, this is kind of a really nice way of doing this. There's hidden lighting somewhere inside of here. And say you wanted to hold all of your dragon bone stuff, you could put on like a dragon bone armor on the mannequin, then throw up all the weapons, put the shield up. That'd be pretty sweet to see, honestly. But okay, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and come downstairs. And then we'll come back upstairs, and then we'll see the rest of it. So let's see. This looks to be maybe a children's bedroom, I imagine. Either that or it's a follower's bedroom. Either way, there is a lot of room in here for a ton of people. And I know for those of you that like to use a shit ton of followers, this, this house might be for you. And I'm really digging the layout of this house, honestly. I think it's laid out pretty well. I like the gigantic dragon skull over the top of that little fireplace. Really, really cool to see. Got some assorted stuff over here with a few chests to store some ale and wine, because, you know, you gotta have that. Got ourselves the hearth fire oven. And our cooking pot. And we got ourselves our gigantic dinner table. I think this is bigger than the one that comes in Lakeview Manor. I think it's it's two large dinner ta It's four large dinner tables meshed in one, I think. Hell, it might even be six. I have no idea. Oh my goodness, excuse me. But that's pretty cool. Lots and lots of food, especially if you're going to start entertaining. Definitely going to want to have a whole lot of people. Looks like even more bedrooms. Good God. Now, I imagine this is most likely follower beds because I feel like that's that's not big enough for a, for a grown ass or for a... um. No, actually, these might be kids. I, these might be kids bedrooms. I'm not sure. You, pro you could probably actually interchange them, honestly. But okay, let's see what else do we have. Another little reading nook slash eating nook over here. In fact, there's two on each side. Very nice. Now, as we move through here, it looks like we have even more bedrooms. I'm noticing a theme, symmetry. There's a big thing, there's a big thing in this house that's a lot of symmetry. And I'm, I'm a big sucker for a lot of symmetry. And this is a large double bed. That's interesting. Is this your bedroom? There's no way you, you sleep with everybody else. You gotta have a master bedroom. I imagine the master bedroom's upstairs somewhere. But okay, it looks as if this is everything on the first floor. Or I should say the second floor, because, well, actually, it's the negative, it's the zero floor, kind of. Kind of interesting, though. Kind of a nice little area over here. 
All right, but before we go in, if, before we see if there's a basement area, we're going to go ahead and come up here and see what the third floor looks like. Because I imagine that this... Oh, my God. Oh, now this is cool. What is this? Activate Elder Scroll Dragon? Oh, whoa. What are these cases, dude? Have, are these in Skyrim? Or is this a custom thing? Because I have no idea. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, this is cool, dude. This is really cool. What do we got inside of here? More stuff to store? Oh, no, we have crafting inside of here. Look at this. A miniaturized smelter. It's so cute. It's a baby smelter. And then we have a whole bunch of smithing supplies right there. Every workbench that you could possibly need. And then inside of here, more storage. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, I can dig this. The tall ceilings and the cathedral-like windows. Oh, that's neat. Okay, this this might have just gotten on the list of my favorite homes, like, ever. <laughs> I'm really digging this. Tons of storage. It's the collector's home. It's the collector's dream home. Oh, my God. And what the hell is all that? <gasps> oh, my God. That's so cool. Look at this. You can store all of the freaking the dragon claws and the freaking... Oh, the dragon priest masks and stuff. That looks that looks dope. I love that so much. Now, let's see. We got some more armor anakin and weapon storage and more on this side. Holy shit, this is cool. Oh, I love this so much. And then the last thing I guarantee you is the master bedroom through this doorway. No, it's not. It's not. It's just more storage. It's just more. I haven't seen a master bedroom yet, unless that double bed is indeed your master bed, which I, I can't imagine that it is, but maybe it is. I'm not sure. Perhaps there's a basement? Or wait, was this the master bedroom? No, this is where we came in from. <laughs> I'm getting all sorts of turned around. There's so many damn doors in this house. It's amazing, though. I love it. I love this freaking house, dude. Now, let's see. Is there a trap door that I missed somewhere? Because if you know me and you've seen some of my showcases before, I, I have a habit of missing some trap doors every now and again. And people always, they always like to yell at me in the comments, like, You missed a trap door! Um, okay. I don't see any trap doors, so I imagine this is your bed. Welcome home! <laughs> you get to sleep with a million other people inside of your own house. But let's see, maybe here in the back room, anything? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is a negative. That is a negative there, uh, Mr. Ramjet. Uh, we have no basement i repeat no basement so that's okay but you know this house i gotta say for it being vanilla with sprinkles if i was doing a vanilla with sprinkles playthrough this is the house i do this is the house that i would have time and time again if i wanted something simple yet extravagant at the same exact time in one of the best locations in skyrim it's right outside of white run for god's sake it's, it's in the perfect place. I love this so much. And plus, the inside, the lighting is amazing. The architecture looks great because it's just a Hearthfire home. It's just been revamped. Plus, that little thing in the beginning with the damn weapon racks around the ceiling. Just the coolest detail ever. I love this. But if you were looking for a collector's home that's a free collector's home that has a very nice pinch of um, custom with the vanilla assets and everything like that, I think this might be the home for you. Now, let me know what you guys would use. If you would use it down there in the comment section, let me know. Did you like the Did you like the home? Did you hate the home? Would you use it? Would you not use it? Let me know. Let's have a discussion down there in the comment section. But guys, I very much hope that you enjoyed today's episode, or mod showcase, and I will see you in the next video.